All right, I got a Mac Tools compression tester and we're gonna run a compression test on the Jeep now. We're gonna test, see how strong my cylinders are, see if there's any issues. I think my trip to the Yukon might have did some damage to the engine wore it out a bit, so let's check her out. Before we start doing a compression test, you wanna pull the fuel pump relay out. All right, we pulled it out. Now we wanna start the vehicle and just let it die. That way we can, that way when we're doing a compression test, we're not going to be pumping fuel in the engine. There we go. That's all done. All right, we're gonna start with hole number six. Hook up the compression gauge. Now the thing is with the Jeep, when you go to crank it over, you want to crank it over and have the throttle pinned. That way it gets air better. Just like that. Now we'll check the compression reading. One thirty. All right, let's crank over cylinder number five. Cylinder number five looks like it's about like one thirty one, one thirty two. All right, we're gonna run the compression test, cylinder number four. <laughs> cylinder number four, about the same, 130. All right, cylinder number three. Cylinder number three definitely quite a bit lower, like 119, 120. All right, we'll see what cylinder number two has to say for us. It looks like cylinder number two is the same, but 121. Well, let's see what cylinder number one has to say. Dropping off, but cylinder number one was at about 129. Now it's just gradually bleeding off. So we know our compression setting should be between 120 and 150. So I got two cylinders that are low. Now we got to figure out is it valves or rings that's giving us the low compression? What I got here is I got a tube. That's probably too much oil, but I'm gonna inject some in cylinder number three, and we're gonna do compression tests. And if the compression goes up. Then we got problems with the rings. All right, take this cap off. Fuck. Put some oil in there. Now we're gonna do another compression test on cylinder number three. right there putting oil in it put my compression up 10 psi so there's definitely some wear there all right it's fucking beer time you can never pop that tab right on the keystone so i'm gonna end my video on that on doing the compression test on the jeep four of the cylinders turned out to be really good two of them not so good, but still fair. The engine still got quite a bit of life left. Like I said, it's not burning oil, but the compression is getting low on the two cylinders. And when I put oil in it, the compression went up. So it is obviously a ring problem. Now in the future, I still have decided what I'm gonna do. I'm still thinking of putting in a stroker and supercharging it in the future. But first I gotta get my car done and then I'll decide because I also want to get like a four door Jeep, but it does make point to have two Jeeps. I don't know what's going to happen. I got so many things I want to do and fucking only so much time and money. 
So, so I'm going to end my video on that. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.